Hey, it's Johnson. So I've got a little bit of an issue going on right now with a guy by the name of Ethan Glover, who I thought he was an all right guy uh, until this sort of bombshell revelation. And um, even then, even after seeing this, I still was like willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. But of course, as soon as I pointed out uh, that Ethan maybe uh, was engaging in fraud, uh, he really started having some serious problems with me. Um, I can't see why, you know, you point out when somebody's a lying fraudster that uh, they might get angry with you. But um, yeah, so uh, he, uh, his response to me pointing out that he was, uh, he admitted to lying about someone with some really serious allegations was to call me a liar. Um, so, right, uh, that's pretty crazy. Um, he accused me of not really being aware of the situation, not having watched the entire video uh, in which I uh, found out that he was lying and found out his admission of lying. And so, um, essentially, <laughs> I have a cat that likes to ruin my videos by jumping on me. Um, I'll just leave this in. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, <laughs> so he accused me of, um, of, you know, of lying and that I didn't know this whole story and whatnot. And so I say, you're going to make me have to go all Shire dude on you. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, I'm going to just have to prove you wrong. Uh, I did see the whole video and, uh. Uh, you know, I did hear you admit to lying, and uh, now apparently, instead of uh, letting it go uh, and just going with the original story here, now you, you're gonna have to make me uh, entertainingly disprove you. <laughs> so, here we go. Um, so another another sort of critique I wanted to make of your approach um, was that I noticed in, in one of your articles, I think it was the uh, the King uh, the King Baby article. You have a picture of Cantwell in the nude. Some people may, uh, yeah. there may be some level of shock value there that draws people away. <laughs> and there was also some commentary about his vagina stinking. <laughs> um, do you think that maybe posting that sort of thing leads people to believe that what you're posting isn't that serious and that it's more of an, it's intended to be an attack piece or intended to be a hit piece? Yeah, there's definitely a weird mix in there where I've got all these serious things and I jump into just joke things that I'm making up, just joke things that I'm making up, just joke things that I'm making up, instead of making up, instead of making up. Um, it's kind of hard because I don't take Chris Cantwell very serious at all, but I've got people that talk to me and they've got these kind of terrible stories, uh, like the guy that's, you know, talking about how he was stealing and he's been arrested for rape and all this, and I, I can't verify that stuff, and I, I can't verify that stuff, and I, I can't verify that stuff. But I'm willing to put his voice out there along with my own side by side and just put it all in the one thing. So uh, having been arrested for rape, uh, is it your your contention that somebody or is it your contention or somebody else's contention that Christopher Cantwell was arrested for sexual assault at some point? Yeah, apparently he was arrested for rape. Whether it actually happened, that's a different story. Rape, whether it actually happened, that's a different story. Rape, whether it actually happened, that's a different story. And um, uh, apparently uh, his brother was arrested for sodomy as well that may have been related to the same event and this was all in New York before he was a part of the movement when he was a, a drug dealer and all that and I think he's been pretty fairly open about his past just not you know with these kind of stories is there a way to verify any of that information with criminal background checks or I imagine that costs money yeah well, I would imagine you can buy in a, a check and find some sort of stuff but even that, it's, it's not always, uh, it doesn't always tell the whole story, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, so, of course, those are pretty serious allegations. Um, so, of course, those are pretty serious allegations. Um, so, of course, those are pretty serious allegations. Um, yeah. Uh, people just pass them over. Yeah. Uh, people just pass them over. Yeah. Uh, people just pass them over. I would like to hear Chris respond to them, but it sounds like yeah. rather than responding them, he's choosing to just ignore or discredit the people yeah. addressing them. Yeah, and I originally uh, started to get into all this because of, he made claims against me about how I hacked his website. I originally uh, started to get into all this because of, he made claims against me about how I hacked his website. I originally 
uh, started to get into all this because uh, he made claims against me about how I hacked his website. And uh, at first, I was just trying to talk to him about it, and he refused. So I started building up and his uh, his case against Cantwell. So I started building up and his uh, his case against Cantwell. So I started building up and his uh, his case against Cantwell because I figured as long as he's going to lie about me, I'm going to tell these stories, tell these stories, tell these stories, maybe create a few lies on the side and this, maybe create a few lies on the side and this, maybe create a few lies on the side and a few lies on the side and a few lies on the side and it create this, this whole tale of uh, F or, uh, Chris Cantwell.